for the past three days, WHO has not received updates on the number of deaths or injuries in Gaza, which makes it harder for us to evaluate the functioning of the health system. What we know is that only one quarter of Gaza's hospitals are still functioning. 26 out of 36 hospitals are now closed, either due to damage, attacks, or because they have run out of fuel. Patients, health workers, and ambulances are not able to enter or exit some hospitals. Prior to the conflict, there were around 3,500 hospital beds across Gaza. Today, there are an estimated 1,400, and there are many more patients than beds. Doctors and nurses are having to make impossible decisions on who lives and who dies. Torrential rain overnight has flooded makeshift camps, making conditions even worse for displaced people. Israel's military incursion into Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza City is totally unacceptable. Hospitals are not battlegrounds. We are extremely worried for the safety of staff and patients. Protecting them is paramount. WHO has lost contact with health workers at Al-Shifa Hospital. But one thing is clear. Under international humanitarian law, health facilities, health workers, ambulances, and patients must be safeguarded and protected against all acts of war. Not only that, they must be actively protected during military planning. Even if health facilities are used for military purposes, the principles of distinction, precaution, and proportionality always apply. Mm -hmm. 